Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. In today's lecture, we are going to compare jump and loop instructions. Let's begin our today's lecture. For better understanding of jump and loop instructions, let's consider the following two assembly language programs. Let's call the left hand side program as program 1 and the right hand side program as 2. Let's first discuss program number 1. In program number 1, the first instruction is move ax, 0. It means that ax will become 0, 0, 0, 0. Next instruction is move bx, 1. So this means that bx will become 0001. The third instruction is move cx, 5. So this will update cx to 0005. Moving on, next instruction is our directive. So we are not going to execute this and we are going to move to the next instruction which is add ax, bx. This instruction will yield in the sum of ax and bx registers. So presently the data stored in ax register is 0000, while the data stored in bx register is 0001. So 0000 plus 0001 will yield in 0001. Moving forward to the next instruction, which is loop tag 1. Loop tag 1 means decrement cx. And after decrement, check the value of Cx. If the value of Cx is not is equal to 0, jump back to the declared tag. Else, exit the loop. So for this instruction, Cx will be updated to 4. As Cx is not equal to 0, so it will jump back to tag 1. This process will repeat until Cx becomes 0. So program 1 will execute this block 5 times for which the final values of ax will be 0005, bx will be 0001 and cx will be 0000. Now let's move to program number 2. In program number 2, the first instruction is move ax, 0. So ax will become 0000. The next instruction is move bx, 1. So bx will be updated to 0, 0, 0, 1. And the third instruction is move cx, 5, which will update the values of cx to 0005. Now next you can see a tag, which is a directive. So we are going to move to the next instruction, which is add ax, bx. This instruction is going to add the values of ax and bx and store the result in ax. So for the current situation, ax is 0000, 0, 0, 0 and bx is 0, 0, 0, 0001. So the sum will be 0, 0, 0, 0001. So this 0, 0, 0, 0001 will be updated in ax register. The next instruction is sub cx, 1. This instruction will decrement the value of cx by 1. So cx will become 4. As after subtraction, the answer is not equal to 0, so 0 flag will be 0. The next instruction is j and z tag 1. j and z check the status of 0 flag. If 0 flag equal to 0, it is going to jump to the declared tag. Else, it is going to exit the loop. So for the given scenario, as the 0 flag is equals to 0, so it is going to jump back to tag 1. So for the given piece of code, this block will repeat 5 times as initially the value of cx is 5 and it is decrementing by 1. So for the first iteration, the value of cx will become 4. For the second iteration, the value of cx will become 3. For the third iteration, the value of cx will become 2. For the fourth iteration, the value of cx will become 1. And the, for the fifth and the last iteration, the value of cx will become 0. The final value for ax will be 0, 0, 0, 0005, bx will be 0, 0, 0, 0001, and cx will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 for program number 2. 
as you can see the outputs of both program number one and program number two are same even though program number one is utilizing loop instruction while program number two is utilizing jump instruction so it means we can convert loop instructions to jump instructions and jump instructions to loop instructions as per our preferences for better understanding let's discuss task one the first instruction is move ax comma 2. This will update ax register to 0002. The next instruction is move bx comma 2. Again this instruction will update bx register to 0002. The third instruction is move cx comma 4. This instruction will update cx register to 0004. Next is our directive, so we are going to ignore the directive and we are going to move towards the next instruction which is mul bx. Mul bx means multiply ax with bx and save the answer in ax. So presently the value stored in ax is 0002 and the value stored in bx is 0002. So 0002 multiply by 0002 will become 0004. This value will be updated in ax and now ax will become 0004. Next instruction is sub cx comma 1. This instruction will decrement cx by 1. So the present value of cx will become 0003. The next instruction is compare cx comma 0. So this instruction is going to compare the present value of cx which is 3 with 0. Do remember that the compare instruction only affects flags. So for the given scenario after compare instruction 0 flag will remain 0. Moving on to next instruction which is J and E jump if not equal to tag 1. So for J and E 0 flag must be equal to 0 which is true so we are going to jump from here to tag 1. This loop will continue until CX becomes 0. So the final values after the execution of all loops will be AX is equals 0020 bx is equals 0002, cx is equals 0000. Now let's modify the code as per given task. For the given task, instructions move ax comma 2, move bx comma 2, move cx comma 4, tag 1 and mul bx remain same. While instruction sub cx comma 1, compare cx comma 0 and j and e tag 1 will be replaced by new instructions. As we know that all the loop instructions by default decrement cx by 1 and after decrementing they compare the value of cx with 0. If the present value of cx is equals to 0 then the loop exits else the loop instruction jumps to the required tag. For the given scenario these three instructions will be replaced by loop ne tag 1. Loop ne checks for two conditions. Condition number 1 cx must not be equal to 0. If cx is equal to 0 exit the loop. Condition number 2 0 flag must be equal to 0. In case 0 flag equal to 1 exit the loop. For the given scenario ax will never be equal to 0. So 0 flag will always be 0. So this means that loop ne will be dependent on cx. In our case the value of cx is 4. So it means that loop ne will iterate 4 times. Yielding in the final result of ax equal to 0020 bx equal to 0002 and cx equal to 0000 which is exactly identical to the final values of the original program. For better understanding of the topic you can solve task number 2 and task number 3.